opponent in that race, U.S. congressional candidate Derek Anderson. Thanks for joining us, Derek. Thanks for having me, guys. So, uh, you know, I've been around Virginia for a long time, around Virginia politics for pretty much my entire life. And I have to say that, you know, th there's a, a certain gentility about Virginia politics that really struck me with this tweet from this woman. It it's so, it's so un-Virginian -Vir to me. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, what, what we're seeing here is my opponent, sister-in-law, made some pretty horrendous comments via X. Uh, just in the wake of President Trump's second assassination attempt. Uh, and you would think uh, that when that happens, uh, my opponent would denounce it. In fact, I asked him to denounce it. I put it out there, asked him to denounce it, and he went silent. Instead, they doubled and tripled down, and then their family began to attack me. So these are the type of people we're dealing with right now. And I, I've been very open and frank about, uh, about this topic is you know, we, we want no violence. Uh, we, we want to make sure that all Americans are safe. I don't care which political party you are, but these individuals think that it's funny, that it's a joke, when it's not a joke at all. Uh, this is the second attempt uh, to assassinate President Trump, and these people think it's okay. Look, I'm here in the 7th Congressional District running to represent the people that raised me. And my opponent, he apparently has this revenge tour. He's focused on his past. He's got a revenge tour, revenge campaign against President Trump uh, and trying to rectify the failed policies of Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, while me and my campaign are trying to focus on the people here in the 7th District's future. We're talking about the economy and trying to make it more affordable to live. We're talking about making sure our border is secure, so our communities are safe, and making sure we're talking about our veterans. But this individual thrives on divisiveness, and that's not what the people here in the 7th Congressional District want. Uh, the fight against Venman could be an uphill battle, however. You're looking to flip that House seat that be belonged to Abigail Spanberger um, to, from blue to red. And how's your fundraising going? Because I looked at the fundraising um, statistics. And um, ha have you made any headway? Um, I Just at least through June, and it looked like Venman had outraised you by six million dollars which is a hell of a lot of money pardon my language in the commonwealth yeah you know we're going to continue to focus fundraising as much as we can but again one of the things that we're doing that my opponent is not doing is we're getting out there and visiting with voters all right we, we've offered several debates for my opponent to get in front of voters here in the seventh congressional district and talk about the issues that are impacting them but in case but but instead he's hiding uh, he's not only hid from the, the public and the, the voters here in the 7th Congressional District, he's lied about his military resume, and he's lied about a variety of things. So, again, he's going to continue to run away and hope that money carries him over the finish line. But we have something different going on here in our campaign, specifically considering this is my hometown. This is my home district where I grew up. Uh, people have known me since I was a little kid because I was working at my mom's restaurants growing up. So we're going to bring a different uh, type of di dynamic to this race. Uh, and We're definitely going to have a lot more enthusiasm. We already have a lot of enthusiasm as it approaches November. Thank and, you, Derek. And Derek, I'd say, you know, Charlie's not my relative, at least I don't think, but if he said something that was atrocious and vile, I'd call him out on it if I was asked. But uh, Evgeny Vindman can't do that, can he? Derek Anderson, thank you so much. No, Good to see you. So would my mom. So would yeah. my mom. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you.